हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एडवांस्ड कल्टीवेशन टेक्निक्स राइट सो नाउ इट इज इट्स द सिनारियो ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन और हाइब्रिड टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स वेयर वी आर नॉट ओनली ग्रोइंग द मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स इन टू आवर प्लान्ड एरिया आवर प्लान्ड लेबोरेटरी बट ऑल्सो वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग द हाई कंटेंट ऑफ मेडिसिनल कॉन्स्टिटेंट्स और हाई कंटेंट ऑफ केमिकल मोइटी एक्टिव कॉन्स्टिटेंट्स मे बी गुड यील्ड ऑफ क्रॉप गुड परसेंटेज ऑफ क्रॉप राइट सो इन दिस केस वी आर हैविंग सर्टेन टाइप्स ऑफ टेक्निक्स और टेक्नोलॉजी विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर पॉलीपोलाइडी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे सो वॉट इज द पॉलीपोलाइडी राइट सो प्लांट्स विच रिप्रोड्यूस सेक्सुअली एंड कंटेन्स मोर देन टू सेट्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स राइट दैट्स वॉट पॉली इट इज देयर राइट सो पोलाइडी मीन्स क्रोमोजोम सॉरी दैट्स वॉट मोर देन टू सेट्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स और टू जीनोम्स आर कॉल्ड पॉलीपोलाइडी राइट सो दैट्स वॉट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन एवर यू आर आंसरिंग दिस आंसर यू नीड टू डिस्क्राइब अबाउट वॉट पॉलीपोलाइडी इज राइट देन दे आर यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ टू सेट्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इन दिस टेक्निक्स ऑफ कल्टिवेशन they are used for improving the techniques of raising crops right which are known as polypolyidy right so this kinds of uh, two sets of chromosome or two genomes uh, we are using to uh, increase the percentage yield or to raising the crop uh, which is known as polypolyidy so how it can be the chromosome sets uh, it may be two sets of chromosomes it is called a uh, diploid Three sets of chromosome. If it is there, it is called a triploid. Four sets of chromosome: tetra, tetraploids, pentaploids, hexaploids, heptaploids, octaploids, and uh, if it is n sets of chromosome or uh, the n number of chromosome, it is called a, what do you call uh, polypolyidy, right? So when we talk about uh, this. Uh, different types of production techniques of polypolyidy plant when we talk about so we can mention here the production techniques for uh, for polypolyidy plants are for example first one zygote when zygote when subjected to a temperature at 38 to 45 degree centigrade it undergoes its first division right so that's what the 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 multiplication will start and produce tetraploids right so that's what these things these techniques we are using in the case of uh, wheat in the case of uh, so in such techniques we are using uh, uh, for we we can use these techniques in the in case of wheat production maize and uh, uh, ray etc right so this is the very good techniques actually where we can use uh, this thing to increase the or raising the percentage yield of the crop further we can use here uh, the second techniques uh, cold treatment of parent species like dhatura leads to the development of tetrapolites branches right so here again the the plant it is going to boom right so whenever the plants which we are expecting the different types of branches it is going to have into that plant and the, which will give you the good percentage right so that's what cold treatment we are going to do into the parent species or main species of the dhatura plant and we will get the tetrapolite branch then the third techniques under polypolyidy we can do replication of dna strands into the plant with the number of cell division it may occur which contribute to polypolyidy right then fourth uh, we can do fertilization of an egg with the two male nuclei also leads to the polypolyidy two male nuclei when we they will go fertilization they are going to have the uh, polypolyidy right so these are the different techniques which we can use in the case of polypolyidy so next techniques uh, uh, which is the mutation which is there also in the advanced cultivation techniques mutation which is nothing but sudden changes of genes so when we talk about mutation mutation are defined as abrupt or sudden changes right sudden changes of the dna of organisms right so any organisms uh, may be plants animals so sudden changes of the organisms it is going to have in dna organism dna of any organism which are heritable right so heritable uh, uh, in that if any changes occur that is called a mutation so there are different types of mutation right so the, when we talk about types number 1 type 1 it is based on origin right 
so under this uh, uh, there is a two types further natural and spontaneous mutation and artificial or induced mutation so when we talk about natural and spontaneous due to changes in weather or maybe changes in climate or electric current or maybe in temperature so this may be the factor where the dna is going to change so where it it happen example in large plants or in the dwarf plants this can be happen second thing under the uh, based on origin type 1 type of mutation artificial or induced mutation it is it happened due to the physical mutations like it may be uh, uv rays x rays alpha beta gamma rays right or maybe any chemical like formaldehyde or any dyes or maybe any gas so whatever changes it occur that is called the uh, what you call uh, um, artificial or induced mutation when we talk about the type 2 of type 2 types of mutation uh, it is the uh, frame shift or chromosomal mutation right number uh, number one in this frame shift or chromosomal mutation so due to the undesired changes in chromosome undesired changes which is not desired one so it comes under the uh, frame shift or chromosomal mutation second one is the point or gene mutation so due to the variation in base sequence of genes right so whatever the base sequence it is there in this if any changes it is going to occur so that is called a this kind of uh, it is going to change so that is called a point or gene mutation right so another thing which we can the third type that is the transitional point transitional point mutation in this one purine is replaced by another purines or pyrimidines right so purine pyrimidine right so for example purine adenine is replaced by guanine in dna like right? the watson greek model of dna in that so whatever the kind of changes it is going to occur that will be having these kinds of uh, that is called a transitional when we talk about the transversal point right transitional point in a, uh, under the point mutation we are studying this transversal points so here purine is replaced by pyrimidines like cytoplasmic right so in cytoplasmic types of transversal point mutation is changes in genes present in cytoplasma whereas spontaneous mutation in uh, bacteria or in virus or in the plants it will it will be happen uh, because of unknown reason so the another techniques uh, under the advanced cultivation techniques that is the hybridization right so in hybridization of course the name itself indicating it is going to give you the hybrid types of product or hybrid types of crop plants vegetable or medicinal crop right so hybridization has, as you can see the two it is going to join together and they are going to make the another new uh, plants that will be having both the characteristic of the parent plant right so in it is a method of plant breeding actually where two genetically different plants are crossed to up uh, to produce so where two genetically different plants are crossed to produce a new variety of crop with all the desired characters of parent species that's what here i have shown this is the circle this is the triangle when they will be crossed together uh, they are going to have the new variety of crop which will be having the characteristic of the parent species right so parent species is, is circle so here circle also half here it is triangle so uh, here is a triangle also it is there so like that so to get the hybrid quality we are going to do this one right so when we talk about the techniques of hybridization so these techniques we can adopt like first of all we have to have the selection right so selection means having desirable characters resistance to disease that particular uh, characters which we have to select uh, which will be having resistance it depends right so first of all selection the what are the plants uh, species we are going to have the cross right then a uh, removal of anther right so anther parts we have to remove anther are removed from the bisexual parent flowers in bird condition then cross pollination we are going to do uh, what is the cross pollination removal of pollen grains from the anther right then plant uh, the parent species are plant harvested right so this is the technique of hybridization you can write So let's have a review that uh, hybridization actually uh, it is a method of plant breeding where two genetically different plants are crossed to produce a new variety of crop with all the desired characters of the parent species right so when we talk about the techniques uh, it is having a first selection 
it is uh, selection of having desirable characters of resistance to disease then removable of anther anther we are going to remove uh, right anther are removed from the bisexual parent flowers in bud condition then cross pollination it is going to have removal of pollen grains from the anther then uh, plant species of the plant harvested the parent species of the plant is harvested thank you